and we've got a problem. And the exhaust blowing. I think I need to take the clamp off and I need to put a new gasket in. It's blowing right from underneath. So, better start getting it stripped down. Damn! So it's not looking good. That's what it looks like. It looks like that's broke off inside there. That's proper gun that has. That's broke off inside. Oh, what do we do now? What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? So what I've got so far is the pipe off the sod and sat the collector box has completely corroded and snapped off. So at the moment, this clamp is barely holding it together, but as you can see, there's holes everywhere. So it's still blowing. Now, I don't think the exhaust paste is gonna do anything really. I think that's just for like sealing when you put jodge together. So, I was just checking the camera was on then. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use this Arbo steel and what it is it's like a two-part putty I think it's an epoxy putty and you mix the two together like a putty and then you can fit all the holes and it sets hard let's get the putty ready and let's have a go so what we will do we will cut a bit off now reading the instructions this stuff goes off starts to go off in two minutes I don't know if you can see there's a different colour the inside bit the dark bit you mix that with the outer part and that's what creates the chemical reaction and I think it only takes about an hour for this to be fully hardened I think we need to work quite quick as I said it does it does start going off quite quick Right, already I can see quite a big hole there. So let's start filling it in. It did say you could wet it with your finger to get a smoother finish. Let's go all the way around with this. So I've used about three quarters of that tube and what I've done I've tried to go all the way around as much as I can so it doesn't look it doesn't look too pretty I might have gone a bit over top but I wanted to make sure I've got enough coverage I think the Abro Steel's done it. I'm getting no blowing from underneath. So let's just hope that holds. Let's hope that holds for Ellen Valley. But I think that Abro Steel might just do the job. Quite impressed with that. Obviously, it's not a long term fix, but. I think that might just do for the weekend. Where is it? That's the baby. Abro steel. Jesus, man. That stuff it? stinks, man. <laughs> I want to spray some deodorant on it. 
I could I could smell it, but I wasn't sure if it's from outside. It's doing the trick, though, isn't it? This is where we are now. Did the Wales run? Used the Abro steel on the exhaust, and it held up perfect. So we probably did about 300 miles uh, around Wales, and it was fine. It wasn't blowing. But I've noticed. I've come to it this weekend, a week later, and the Abro steel is starting to crack and peel off a bit. So obviously under under the heat, it's starting to um, break up a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to weld it. We're going to weld a piece on the exhaust. So I need to get the pannier frame off, top box frame off, seat off, plastics off. Remove the rear light so I can get the silencers out. So we can get it prepped for welding. So let's make a start. Let's get it stripped. Okay, we're all stripped. Seats off, frames off, exhausts off. So that's the bit which broke off there. So we need to get this out, probably cut this off here, put this knuckle. Weld a new bit on there and slide it into there. There it is. That's the bit that's broke off there. So that was on there somewhere. We've got it all stripped down. We've got the grinder, and what we're going to do. We're going to cut this off so we're going to grind just around there get rid of that bit so we've still got that flare there and then we've got this piece so what we're going to do is that bit's going to go in there and then this end is going to go over there And then what we'll do is we'll probably tech weld it just to this weld joint here. Obviously we need to cut it down as well. And actually we could grind these up, we don't need these little brackets. So let's get that bit cut off. Safety goggles first and all that stuff. Okay then, so there we go, the section's on. So what we've done, the collector box slides inside this pipe, this pipe slides inside the silencer, so at least the gas is flowing in a natural direction. There's no joint sealer on there, it's not being welded, there's no gasket in yet, there's no bracket on or clamp. So let's see, let's start it up. At least we get in there. At least it's all in place. Could do with going over a bit actually. Try welding it in a gasket. So 
So we done. Dad's fixed it. The old man has done his welding, and we are all done. There we go. So what we've got, we've just put a little bit of exhaust paste on at the minute. There's the new metal, the new metal ring. And what we did with this, we've welded it to the weld joint on the collector box. So this runs inside the silencer. Inside this pipe, we've put another steel tube to reinforce it. So let's see if it's blowing. Absolutely perfect. All I need to do now is I'll rebuild it back up and then we'll take it here for a road test. Just put it under a bit of load just to make sure everything's okay. But how we've put that reinforcement pipe inside it, it's actually now probably stronger than it was originally. So that's our fix on the collector box and silencer on a VFR 800. You know, it's not a long-term solution. I think at some point the collector box is probably going to corrode more. So at some point I'm going to have to look at a new complete system. Maybe the Delkovich system. But I think that should get me by for some time. It's strong enough, it's reinforced enough. You know, at least we know to a degree it is repairable. Not an ideal situation ideal situation would be to replace it but at the moment the funding is not allowing a full system replacement so the repair is doing for now but I'm happy with that so let's go and try this out oh it feels a bit more responsive so obviously the leaking exhaust must must be doing something to the engine must be something to do with the back, back pressure Oh yeah, it is a hell of a lot more responsive. I'm quite surprised at that, to be honest. That has surprised me. I didn't realise it actually makes that much difference. Well, it's just been absolutely hammering it down, so these roads are going to be as greasy as hell. It's still quite warm. So, oh, thank you to Dad and his welding. Now I know you're not supposed to weld to rust, uh, but we haven't, so what we did is the rusty part, we went, we went past it and welded to the joint on the collector box, because that part was clean, it wasn't rusted. Let's go back up here, I think it's going to absolutely hammer it down again in a bit. But yeah, it definitely feels, definitely feels more responsive. So the Abro seal, the temp repair, that worked. It lasted about 300 miles. I probably could have got more out of it. But it was me, I decided to take the Abro seal off because I knew that was only going to be a proper short fix that was. Let's pull up here and have a look. That was going to be just a proper short fix just for, just for us to get to Wales. And it did its job. I've got to be very careful because this is going to be extremely hot. Well, 
That seems to be good to me. It's not blowing. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. So I think we might have done the fix. Don't sound like it's blowing anymore. Jobs are good and I'm happy with that. Oh, I'm happy with that. So there we go. Yes, happy, happy with that. So it might last me some time. I might get another 12 months out of it. I might get a couple of years out of it. It's all down to whether, how much more that collector box corrodes. Because the extent of the corrosion on it, it's obviously only going to corrode more over time. So as bleak as it looked at first, I did think it was going to be unrepairable. But we've managed to carry out a repair, thanks to my dad and his welder. I mean, he's retired now, but he's been a mechanic all his life. But he says it looks pretty good and he's happy with the repair. So if he's happy with it, I'm happy with it. So there we go. So hopefully we'll see you on plenty more videos on plenty more rides. Because the repair has been successful. There we go. She's back in the bed. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that repair. Good job. Thank you, Dad. I can now get it clean, get it washed. She's a bit riffy now. Get the luggage back on. Boom!